And he joins us right now to talk about the new film that you can see this Wednesday. It is Father Stew. He is the legend himself, Mr. Mark Wahlberg. Mark, how you doing this morning? Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Excited to talk about Father Stew. I mean, this is a movie that kind of captured me from the trailer the first time I saw it. Uh, Let's talk about kind of how it came to be. How did you hear about this story? Uh, I was actually having dinner with two priests, and one of them started pitching me the story of Father Stu. And uh, when I finally realized, oh my God, it was such an amazing, inspiring story, then I committed to making the film. Oh, okay. So you got <laughs> you got pitched by a priest. I mean, it's not something that happens every day in Hollywood, I'm sure, but uh, <laughs> you know, however you can get the film, right? Very strange, but uh, you know, I think uh, sometimes that's just how it comes to you. Yeah, you know, and, and, and here's the thing. I think that it's awesome that you have, um, you're able to do a, a faith-based film, you know, uh, especially in Hollywood. I think that, you know, nowadays, um, you know, I mean, people sometimes want to shy away from anything that could be, I don't know, controversial or anything like that. And I don't know why religion is, but um, was it important for you? Because we know, you, you know, you, you take your religion so seriously to be um, the guy that plays Father Stu, did you want to be the star from the get-go, or did you just want to produce the thing? Um, no, I wanted, I wanted to be in it. I mean, and you don't rarely, rarely do you get to play this kind of part as an actor where he has so much range and his, his arc is so vast. I mean, it's a really, you know, it's a big, challenging role. Uh, but yeah, I love the idea of, of, of playing Stu. So for people who don't know, I mean, can you give us kind of a, a, a little backstory on, on Father Stu himself? This isn't somebody who initially planned on ever being a priest, if, uh, if, if I'm correct. Uh, yeah, it's, it's least likely guy to, to enter the priesthood. Yeah, he was a boxer. Um, he, had, he had sustained an injury while boxing, so he, could, he, you know, he couldn't box anymore. And then uh, he decided to go to L.A. to become an actor, fell in love with this amazing woman. She couldn't be in a relationship with him because he wasn't baptized, wasn't a Catholic, so he was starting to go through that process. And then he had a, a horrific accident. He got run over not once but twice when he was driving a motorcycle with no helmet. And uh, and then he had a visit from Mother Mary. And so then he became obsessed with this visit, and he decided that he was not only going to become a Catholic, but he was going to become a priest, which everybody thought he was crazy. And then he really challenged everything about the priesthood in the seminary, so they didn't like him there much either. Uh, and then he got diagnosed with this rare disease, and as his, his physicality started to deteriorate, his spirituality really soared, and he touched a lot of people in a short amount of time. It's an amazing, inspiring story. And and it's just really such a great story about the human spirit and the ability to persevere through the worst of times. And you don't know what, uh-huh. you know, I, I always say that, you know, I'm not on my time, I'm on God's time. And I, yep. I, you know, you never know what he has laid out for you. You just have to have the faith that he's got it laid out for you. And 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 I think that's what Father Stu is about. You got a great cast. Um, just even from the trailer, you can see some of the cast highlights. I mean, Mel Gibson's in there amongst others. Did you uh, did you enjoy kind of the process? You said it was a difficult role to have, but did you enjoy the process of of, of making the film and working with your co stars, Mel Gibson and others? Yeah, you know this this this. The script was really good, and people wanted to be a part of Sue's story and telling that. You know, it's, it's nice when you when you get a film that people are not just kind of there to fulfill their own kind of, you know, uh, individual thing. It's like, you know, you're being part of telling a, a story and something that's unique and special. Uh, so, you know, that's what attracted a lot of people. To, you know, and the, obviously Rosie had written some amazing uh, roles, but you know, everybody wanted to be a part of bringing Stu's story to the big screen. And you're coming off of Uncharted that's going to be available on Blu-ray and digital here soon as well. Um, Uncharted was such a great movie, man. I mean, really enjoyed it in the theaters. The chemistry between you and Tom Holland was so much fun, and it really gave you kind of that that feel of a of an Indiana Jones or a National Treasure, something like that. When, when you, I guess, lay out your year or you lay out your, your vision for Mark Wahlberg's future as far as films go 
Do you take that that approach that I've heard before in Hollywood where it's like one for me, one for you kind of thing? Or do you just go with whatever at this point, whatever just inspires you to to, to jump into? Like what's kind of your, your way forward when you select your project? It depends. I think, um, you know, sometimes I'll just be looking for the complete opposite of the last thing that I did. So if I do something serious and I might want to do something that's just kind of funny or, you know, it really depends. Then I've got other projects that I'm, developing on my own and producing that, um, you know, we're just kind of figuring out how we can get it made and then when we can get it made. Yeah. Talk about kind of the producing thing, uh, as of late. I mean, that's really where you've put a lot of uh, energy into, do you enjoy that aspect of the industry? Yeah. I mean, you know, again, this is the first movie that I've ever financed, but, um, you know, I've produced quite a number of films and, you know, you always want to have creative control. Yeah. So you can uh, have the best chance of, you know, doing something good. And um, and and why was Father Stu the one that you said I'm going to put all my money into? Like I'm going to finance this one on my own. Uh, well, because it's not the typical movie that gets made in Hollywood. People are looking for franchises and tentpoles and things of that nature. And so I just thought, kind of cut to the chase and not have any interference. Um. So yeah. You got to put your money where your face is sometimes. <laughs> so, I mean, how are we feel? I mean, I mean, what's response been thus far to people who've seen the film and audiences and things like that? The response has been amazing. I mean, people are laughing, crying, cheering at the end of the film. It's uh, I, I, I've never gotten a reaction from a film quite like this, and I've been in some good ones. So, to see people's uh, response to the film, it's it's amazing. Do you think that Hollywood should lean in and have more faith-based films? I think if this movie um, is a big success, then they, they will, for sure. It's just, you know, it's much more of a biopic, but it just has this faith-based component because obviously Sue went into the priesthood and, you know, that's where he found his calling. But, you know, it's, uh, I mean, it's a tough, gritty, very real in-your-face film with, you know, tough language and uh, and violence and, and, and these sort of things. Um, but it was, that was the path that which Stu took to get to his calling. So, um, you know, I think in success, they'll, they'll definitely want to make more. Well, you know what, man, I, I, I wish you nothing but the m m utmost success. The, the trailers look great. I'm going to rush out to the theater to see it this weekend. I, I'm hoping that everybody else does. One one uh, final question for you. I'm actually getting married this week. You've had a successful uh, marriage. Oh, I uh, appreciate that, Mark. Um, what What's your one tip? What 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 do I need to know to to be like Mark Wahlberg as far as the best husband I can be? Oh, uh, your wife's always right. <laughs> uh, communication. Communication is the key. We have a great support system. You know, uh, we're a team with everything, with the kids and and, and everything that we do. So uh, I've been very fortunate. You know, guy, I prayed, I prayed for God to put put a good woman in my life, and you know. Uh, so I'm very blessed and fortunate that way. All right. Well, I appreciate the advice. That is Mark Wahlberg. The film's called Father Stu. Rush out and see it this weekend. Mark, thanks so much for joining us, man. Thank you, sir. God bless.